do you guys know what is the previous pictures described about? That is our critical issue that we need to discuss in details today. People are making pollution everywhere. Rubbish were thrown away by people easily without any guilty. Where is our consideration? These issues usually found in the residential area and public areas such as beside the road, sea and also happen in our neighbourhood. Even every house has prepared a garbage dumps but this problem still exists among us. There is a fact statement where the pollution had affected over 100 million people in the world. And National Academy of Science also estimated that ocean-based sources such as cargo ships and cruise liners had dumped over 14 billion pounds of garbage in the ocean in 1975. This shows to us how serious the problems are. Therefore, we need to take action immediately in order to curb this problem. With the help of authorities and citizens, we can spread awareness about the importance of taking care of our environment. Next, let's watch a video about the importance of taking care of our environment. What is a good environment? Environment consists all the needs of living things including clean air, clean water, public parks, rivers, mountains, forests and ocean. Environment can be defined as everything that is around you. If something is good for the environment, it is beneficial to the ecosystem of plant and animal life on earth. But if something is bad such as pollution, it will give negative impact towards environment includes humans, flora and fauna. A good environment is an environment that are free from pollution, such as motor vehicle smoke emissions, carbon monoxide, dust and toxic chemicals which will help to prevent chronic respiratory disease or other health problems. First, environment essential for living things. When the pollution has been reduced, it can ensure the living things such as human, animal and plants to get nutrients from the sunlight for animals to survive in the forest with enough food supply and humans to stay healthy without getting any worse effect from pollution. As we all know, flora and fauna are the living creatures that live in the same earth with humans. We must protect each other in order to sustain their presence and ecosystem so that there will not be mass extinction. Second, future generations will appreciate the environment. Future generations such as our great-grandchildren will continue the effort of taking care of our environment if we teach them how to appreciate the environment start from their childhood pace. This is because children will easily remember from what they had learned from parents and elderly. We can teach our children and grandchildren about the importance of caring of the environment by attending environmental campaign practicing 3R which is reuse, reduce and recycle and even exposing them to the benefits of caring for the environment. Third, the environment is produced the natural resources. Our environment such as tropical forest, ocean and river and mountain consists natural resources for the use of humans and other living creatures. Some of the raw materials like logs to make furniture, fish in the river and ocean and plants or vegetable to make herbs and foods. That is the purpose of good environment to sustain food availability and provide fresh air for living things to life. Good environment without pollution also helps in the growth of habitats with good ecosystem. Natural resources commonly are found in the environment and it is also a developed without the intervention of humans. For instance, natural resources include air, sunlight, water, soil, stone, plants, animal and fossil fuels. The function of the environment is to support human life and economic activity. Last, Earth is our home. As we live in Earth, so we need to take care of our Earth in order for us to live comfortably and calm without feeling scared for the pollution consequences. Saving our Earth and its environment becomes highly important as it provides us food and water to sustain life. Our well-being solely depends on this planet. It gives food and water to all living things to eat. It is our responsibility to take care of it. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has from Margaret Mead. Thank you. If we neglect our responsibilities, we will face the consequences. So, what are you waiting for? Let's do our responsibilities together. I'm Ayunazira, has already carried out my responsibilities to safety earth. Thank you.